Kinesio taping is application of tapes on the body. We do it in orthopedics for all types of ailments such as knees, hips, backs. I had a chance to talk to Andrea Wolkenberg, who is a specialist in kinesio taping, about how she applies this for treatment of cervical herniated disc disease. Kinesio tape and the kinesio taping method mm -hmm. is a, an elastic therapeutic tape mm -hmm. that was invented by a Japanese chiropractor by the name of Kenzo Kase. We put it on the skin okay. and it essentially becomes a second skin. We put it on at different tensions, mm -hmm. in different directions, with different cuts, depending on what we want to achieve. Okay. And the tape, when it is adhered to the skin, it recoils and it repositions the skin. Okay. And so it has a lymphatic component to mm -hmm. it uh, because as it lifts the skin, it creates these wrinkles in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, uh, we call them convolutions. And that opens up the superficial lymphatic vessels and that allows better flow under the skin, better better lymphatic flow, takes away waste products. So this pressure. is in the area where the person's having pain. Yes. So the patient has herniated disc, neck pain, and pain down the arm. Would right. you tape up the arm or would you focus just on the neck? Uh, again, it depends. You could do both because okay. there are different ways of applying the tape that I might do one kind of application directly over the disc area to, right. to presumably there, there might be some swelling there. I might want to reduce the swelling. Mm -hmm. uh, I might want to release the fascia that's directly in that area. Um, and I might want to also, if they're having, you know, burning, shooting pain down their arm, I might also want to tape along that nerve root mm -hmm. uh, to unload the nerve root um, to give them to give them relief. There are a lot of different ways to tape. Does it work? It works better than anything. <laughs> Uh, I, I always say that, uh, you know, if you put me on a desert island with patients yeah. and you say I can, I can only have one modality, that's the modality I would really? choose because it is so versatile. You mm -hmm. either, it, it has a lymphatic component, it has a fascial component, mm -hmm. I can manipulate the fascia, I can facilitate muscle, I can inhibit muscle, mm -hmm. um, I can make postural corrections with it depending on the amount of tension and how I put, how I apply the tape. So who so. do they go, who does someone go to to get this, let's say they want to try this therapy? Um, you have to go to a certified case. It, it sounds like you'd have to go to someone really yeah. special. I mean, there are yeah. people out there who are doing it who've never been trained, who are going to right. put that down yeah. and, oh, you must feel better now. Yeah. Um, and, and that's a huge mistake. And okay. I always, in my classes, I always say, how many of you learned this from new YouTube? Right. Um, you know, and there's just a lot of crap out there. So, so, so is it safe to say that if you're if you're someplace and you um, and you don't have someone who's really qualified, best don't off do don't do it. Best okay. off don't do it. Is it is it uh, incorporated into physical therapy or is it something that you go that you go to someone privately to do kinesio taping? Nope. Uh, I mean, uh, physical therapists do it. Occupational therapists, chiropractors do it. Uh, some massage therapists do it. Some acupuncturists do it. Um, so if you can get it into your covered by your insurance. With that, um, uh, go ahead and do that. Yeah, thing. I mean, it's it's covered by insurance in different ways depending right. on on how you um, how you apply it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're if you're applying it to muscle, it you, you're gonna you're gonna make it part of your neuromuscular reeducation, part mm -hmm. of your postural reed, part of your, your mm -hmm. muscle reed. Um, so it's not gonna be covered separately under that. It's just you're using that as a as a modality towards that goal. So you're gonna cover you're gonna. Uh, use those minutes that you use. I see. So, so like that. So essentially, it, while they're at a physical therapist, receiving all these different types mm -hmm. of little treatments, massage, e-stem, yeah. ultrasound, right. kinesio taping is bundled into that. Yes. And so a patient could go there and speak to a therapist about kinesio taping, and hopefully they'll include that in their physical therapy if, program. If that's something that they do, right. um, they, they probably will, will do it regardless of whether the patient asks for it, because I people see. who learn it, use it. So the bottom line on kinesio taping, I don't know. I don't really understand how it would work to help a cervical herniated disc. Andrea is very excited about it. The people that do it are excited about it. If you have someone who's qualified to do it near where you live and insurance will cover it and you want to try it, it's fine. I wouldn't put it at the top of my list for treatment of the cervical herniated disc. Certainly no harm and it may help with some of the pain, but I just am not sure how it's going to help with a herniated disc pressing on a nerve.